I am a master trader. All my trades in in private. I am 777. I'm anointed for wealth. Let us know what city you're calling in from. I'm going to be getting started here in a couple of minutes. like to welcome each and every one of you out tonight to this is our BYB Market Talks Advanced Tool Training. We want to make sure that we're dropping those affirmations and tonight we want to make sure that you're letting us know what city you're calling in from all around the globe, BYB worldwide. I am a master trader. All my trades end in profit. I am the signal. I'm anointed for wealth. You want to make sure you add those affirmations. It's very important that you come into this environment with your mind and heart open so that you can be uh, a reflection and, and, and be able to synergize your efforts and understanding because you are absolutely in for a treat tonight. This is our BYB Market Talks Advanced Tools Training. So yes, go ahead and flood the chat with your affirmations. I need to make sure you're dropping those affirmations. And I am a master trader. All my trades in the profit. I am the signal. I am 777. I'm anointed for wealth. You know, this is a part of you getting your mind ready and your heart ready for this amazing information tonight. So once again, you want to make sure that you're dropping those affirmations in the chat this evening. You want to make sure you're dropping those affirmations in the chat this evening. And here's what I know to be true, ladies and gentlemen, those who actively participate and, and making your affirmations known, uh, we know that a byproduct of your affirmations is the results in your trading experience. So once again, this is our BYB Market Talks Advanced Tools Training. So you want to make sure that you're dropping any of your affirmations. Let us know what city you're calling in from. I am a master trader. All my trades end in profit. I am the signal. I'm anointed for wealth. And any and the additional things that you want to add, you want to make it de definitive and uh, with your I am affirmation. So it's very important that you come tonight with the right thought process and the right energy. And I promise you this, ladies and gentlemen, when we created and started this movement, everything that you are experiencing now is because we made the declaration with the proper mindset first. So if you want to uh, truly, truly go to the next dimension, in your trading experience, then work with me and be with me tonight with your energy, your thought process and make that declaration for you and your family. I am a master trader. All my trades in and profit. I am 777, I'm anointed for wealth. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, let us know what city you're calling in from. We're gonna be getting started here in about another one minute. Um, so yes, you wanna send a smoke signal. You wanna invite your friend, neighbor and relative because what's about to be uh, disseminated this evening is life-changing. It is life-changing. So once again, we want to flood the chat with those affirmations. You must be an active participant in your own personal rescue. You know, I am a master trader. All my trades end in profit. I am the signal. I'm anointed for wealth. I'm a BYB average breaker. You know, we're, we're, we're destroying, we're breaking strongholds of financial poverty. And that's why you're here tonight. Be your own bank movement worldwide. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it is now 9 p.m. Eastern. And I have the privilege to be able to introduce you an individual that I have the utmost of respect for. I mean, this individual is the when you look up hard work and dedication as a synonym, you're going to see this name next to it. So without any further ado, I get the privilege to introduce you an individual who's documented, 100 percent documented. I mean, a retired major from the United States Army. MBA recipient, licensed financial advisor, the creator of the BYOB cash out strategy. And you know, we affectionately refer to her as the trade whisperer. So without any further ado, I'm gonna move out of the way so she can execute with precision and the expertise and the joy and love that she has for each and every one of your family. So with that being said, Ms. Tasha M. Dye, the trade whisperer, are you on the line? I am, I am, I am. And thank you so very much. Ladies and gentlemen, as you log onto the line this evening, let me, before we even dive in and start talking about this training, let me help you understand who you just had the opportunity to hear from. That is our visionary. Yes, you heard me clearly. 
the visionary of this movement, the visionary of Be Your Own Bank. I'm telling you right now, his heartbeat has been for you to be a winner. His heartbeat has been where we wanted to make sure that you had this information. His background is in investment banking, commercial real estate, you know, just residential mortgage lending. And, you know, when you really think about where wealth lies, so many people are in a real estate, a real estate investment and all of those spaces. But understanding what this is, this is the largest financial market in the world. And so his vision is he wanted to make sure that individuals around the world had access to the same information that we have access to. And so I'm, it's just been an honor and a privilege to run alongside with him as my personal coach and mentor. And so I'm just excited this evening. Guys, I'm just so excited because tonight, this is our advance. We are closing out the week strong. And when I tell you guys, you have been in a tremendous amount of profit. I have seen so many 777s. I have seen so many people in profit this week, and it's just steadily increasing. And I always tell people, you know what? You, you can, first 14 to 21 days, you will be able to understand, you will be able to be able to see what's transpiring. You'll be able to see, you know, what's going on and, and have some comprehension and understanding. Cause I know when you first look at this, it's, it looked like an EKG. I understand when you first look at this because you've never seen it before. I understand that, but to really be in a position and understand that you can take profit and you can really take advantage of this information is it's just life-changing and you know for me to be able to see people get exposed to this information and for me to be able to see you all just really be able to take advantage of this and i've seen people in their very first two weeks like literally dropping seven seven sevens in the chat and i'm excited because i was on a call earlier today with the BYOB extension in the United Kingdom. And, you know, I'm, I'm gonna give up credit today. But, you know, when you hear me on this call say this in about two or three weeks, I'm, it's mine. It's gonna be my words, my verbiage. But she was 777 is what we do. And she made it known that 777, because 777 simply means you are taking profit. You have turned the market into your personal ATM. And so I'm excited because that's actually part of what we're going to talk about tonight, right? Well, that's part of what I'm going to be sharing with you all this evening is the understanding that, you know, how to really dive in and understand, you know, some of the compounding, right? The, the big picture and things like that. So, you know, let's go ahead and see who do I have on the line this evening, you know, because, you know what I mean? We, we, we want to make sure that we understand that this is a worldwide movement and we're having worldwide impact. And I'm excited. So as I look in the chat, I see Minnesota and I see Cleveland. I see Toledo. Guys, I see Jacksonville. I see, I see, I see, okay, I see Louisiana. I see Leland, Mississippi. I see Orlando or Atlanta, Jacksonville, Cleveland. Come on, come on, Cleveland, Cleveland. I see you guys, Chattanooga. I see, wait, that's Louisiana again. Let's see what we're calling in from Columbus, Ohio. I see Oak Creek, right? I see, right? So um, definitely, definitely, definitely Moultrie, right? So it's so, I see the UK on here. So it's so many uh, people that's already, you know, calling in from around the world. And so that's exciting, right? So definitely, definitely exciting. And so also, you know, you want the, you heard our visionary just mention those affirmations. You heard our visionary just mention why we want to make sure that we have that right mindset, right? We're in that right place. I am an educated BYOB master trader anointed for wealth. I am the signal, meaning you are an educated trader because an educated trader is a profitable trader. All my trades in in profit, right? I am 777. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm getting my screen shared together. And also let me not forget, cause I'm looking at what you guys are dropping in there. I am a BYOB average breaker. You know, um, I just see you guys, you add to it, just don't take away. And the reason why, you know, I want to give you understanding tonight. Tonight, I want to give you understanding. 
Tonight, I want to make sure that you are walking in this understanding because your mindset is where your success lies. Your mindset, right, what you have and the success that you desire, the, the profit that you are willing to pull off of the charts and wanting to pull off the charts, it's, it's already on the inside of you. It's, it's already there. And so you just have to make a decision that you're worth it. You just have to make a decision that you're ready to dive in here and you're ready to take full and complete advantage of that. And so what we have are powerful tools and resources. And as you can see, this tool is the vibrata. This is the premier tool. And so when you actually are in the academy, I told you I'm gonna slow this down for just a minute. When you log into the academy, right, we have access to multiple tools, right? We have access to tools and resources through foreign exchange, Academy, your high frequency forex and your digital currency. Okay. And we've been tapping and training on all of these. But one thing you notice is that I always bring you back to the vibrata. Somebody asked me this morning, you know, and I just, you know, just kind of think about it, bring it back, bring it back, right? Bring it back to the vibrata. And the reason behind that, why do we bring everything back to the vibrata? Well, this tool has been vetted. All right. I want you to be very, I want to be very clear. This tool has been vetted is very comparable to what the big banks of the world utilize. You have a gentleman, um, cough, cough, hint, hint, our visionary that has 25 years investment banking experience. And so when you see this statement on here, like when you log on here and it says that this software, this tool enables you to trade like the banks, where do you think those words came from? From him, because this allows you to trade like the big banks of the world. So it's been vetted. And so you really have the power in your own hands to really be your own bank. And you have access to the tools and software that allow you to do that. And we're going to show you exactly how to use it, but I'm going to let this play because this is heard in over 120 countries, but I want you to hear it tonight. Folks, I'm just absolutely amazed to know that I'm a part of a organization looking to empower and impact lives across the globe. I've been in this space for over 20 years, promotion banking lending, and when I look at the web analyzer in comparison to what the big banks of the world utilize, that web analyzer is equivalent, far exceeds the expectation that I was anticipating after having that experience on the investment market. So folks, for those of you who don't understand the magnitude of what you have your hands on, I encourage you, I challenge you to take a deeper dive and realize that literally you have in your own hands the power to become your own bank and allow us to be your partner, to empower you economically, financially, and leave a true legacy. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, this is really what this is all about. It's about making sure that you are empowered. And I see you, YouTube. I, see, I got you guys too. And so what I want to do is I'm actually going to walk you through. But, you know, as we get started, right, let me, oh, you know what? You guys didn't drop it because I didn't even ask you. If this is your first time on here with us this evening, let me get a 111 in the chat. And if you are still learning how to cash out, let me get a 222. And if you cashed out, let me get a 777. All right. So that's a one, 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 a two, two, two and a seven, seven, seven. So you see all of the profit that's being made. So for those of you all who are new to the call, I want you to understand that you're going to be empowered. And so to have complete clarity and understanding to our call schedule, what we do is Monday through Thursday at 5 a.m. and 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're live in the market. That's what we call our profit calls, okay? Those calls is where we do our tools analysis. We take what we're learning on our evening calls. And then, of course, we, um, go, we're we going to empower you with it, right? That's what we do. And then, of course, on Tuesday nights is our basics. It sets the tone. It sets the foundation. Where you understand what this movement is all about. You understand the BYOB cash out strategy. But then also, you're going to also understand you know, some compounding, but we're going to dive a little bit deeper into that tonight as well. And then, of course, tonight is our advanced. It's our tools analysis where we kind of get just a little bit deeper, okay? And so what I want to do first and foremost is I'm going to walk you through the BYOB cash out strategy. So, of course, I saw some 111s on here, and I'm going to let you know up front and in advance that 
your, you know, the enrollment into the academy is where it's going, your success is going to lie, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you all know that YouTube University, we know what we're sharing. We know that we're streaming, but, you know, YouTube University is not where your success lies. If you want to be completely successful, we don't ever want to shortchange ourselves, and we want to arm ourselves with proper tools, proper resources, proper education, because we were always told that education is key. And if education is key, if, if we were always told we need to get a proper education, and if education is key, then we want to arm ourselves properly where we have all the proper tools, resources, the foundation, the education. And that's ultimately what we want to do. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually walk you through, I'm going to pick a decent, I'm going to pick a currency pair that looks kind of smooth, and I'm going to walk you through the BYOB cash out strategy, where I can actually um, show you exactly how this works, and then we're going to talk about, you know, um, a few longer trades. Now, the reason behind this, okay, the reason behind this is as we looked, right, we talked last week and we were supposed to do a part two, but if we really look at what happened um, with Bitcoin, it's not moving right now. So if it's not moving, we trained on it last week without the movement. We had movement previously. We made a lot of money on Bitcoin, but if it's not moving, then I'm going to pause that training and, you know, we'll come back to the cryptocurrency training. So it's, that's, it's fine, right? We, the, we can't push the market. We don't move the market. We ride the wave of the market. You know, like, for example, US 30, our, our, our US 30 was moving today. This is a trade we analyzed based on the alerts, based on the tools, based on what transpired. And as you can see, this is our markup for this morning and we took complete profit. So if you were in this from the very beginning, Right. If you rolled this out today, that's um, at a minimum. Let me say a minimum because it's a dollar a point. At a minimum, you're almost depending on where you got in and out. You're almost at three hundred dollars for the day, just on this particular trade based on what we analyzed and marked up. So that's at a minimum because I don't personally know your lot size. We'll be talking about lot sizes here in a minute. But I do want to talk about the strategy itself first. And then I want to talk about like a few longer trades as we kind of analyze that today. Um, so what I'm looking at, all right, when you look at this, just to kind of help you get a little bit of clarity and understanding, when I'm looking at these charts, my higher time frame is my what direction, okay? And guys, if while we're going through this, if you have any questions, any comments, any testimonies, I want you to drop them in the chat, okay? We're going to answer your questions and I'm going to take my time with this, but I need you to drop it in the chat if you have any of those questions, any comments, any testimonies, okay? So my higher time frame gives us direction. My mid time frame is where we analyze. My lower time frames is how we enter a trade. And so the one of the biggest things I want you all to grasp is that you know, because I get this question so often, like, well, can I trade off the hour? Can I trade off the 15 minute? Understand that each one of these candle, I mean, these time frames, it just represents how long a candle is, how much time before I get a new candle. So, you know, it's one minute before I get a new candle if I'm on a one minute chart. It's five minutes before I get a new candle if I'm on a five minute chart. On the four hour chart, it's four hours before I get a new candle on a four hour chart. We just got a new four hour candle. And so that means it will be another four hours before I get another candle. And so what I want you to grasp from that and to understand is that it's not about the time frame. It's about understanding my time frames because no matter what time frame I'm on, it does not change the price. So my price is here along the side, okay? My date and time is on the bottom. My price is on the side. Knowing that my price is on the side, knowing that it's here, okay, that's not like my price, right, is not moving. My price is here, and you see my price is going to be the same. Now, you have this little button that you can click and open this, and when you do that, you have your real price here. Now, you notice that's the real price. That's right there. That's what's moving in the red box. That's the real price. Now, the other price is what we call my Hikanashi price. I'll explain that as well. So this is my Hikanashi price because it's based off of my trend candles. But yet this is my, right? This is my price price. 
No matter what time frame I'm on, this is going to be the price. Imagine you where you're sitting right now, wherever you are, your house, your car, right on the patio, wherever you are right now, it, you know, in the bed, you're in the same location. So if I'm in the room with you, of course, I'm going to have a closer view, i.e. my lower time frames. But it doesn't change your location. You're in the same spot. If I'm looking at you from down the street through a satellite, or I mean through like, you know, just so down the street where you look like a dot, then that doesn't change your location. It changed my viewpoint. But if I'm looking at you through Google Maps, Google Earth, your location still doesn't change. I might just not have a clear view of you because I'm so far away, but your location is the same spot. And so that's what these time frames give us. They give us the ability to look at something. I'm looking at the exact same spot, but I'm just able to look at it from a different perspective. So when I drop down, I'm just honing in and I'm getting real close right up on that thing on you, whatever I'm looking at. I'm just getting real close to it. And that's ultimately what those time frames are. So it's no such thing as trading on the hour, trading on the 15, trading on the one, right? But you, so you want to understand, that's why I'm trying to break this down to you. My higher time frames give me direction, right? That's the direction. My mid time frame is where I analyze because now I'm closer up on it. I can see my activity and my movement. My lower time frame is where all the activity happened. I can see every move you make if I'm in your face. So that's what those lower time frames are, is I'm in your face. That's my in your face time frames, right? So where we begin you, where we start you at is on the 15 minute chart. And that is because that's what we analyze. Now I'm making emphasis to this because I don't want you to live there. We do this in phases. Phase one is the BYOB cash out strategy. Phase two is my um, time frame confluence because I want to be in coordination. I want to be in alignment with the other time frames, right? Because I have so much more activity on my lower time frame. Just imagine your car not in alignment. You might get there, but it might be a bumpy ride, okay? So we want to make sure we're in alignment. My higher time frames, right? The, the time frames that that's higher, they're gonna be, it's gonna be smoother because remember, we don't see all the details. I can't see all the activity. If I'm in an airplane, I can't see you roll over in the bed you're in right now. So that's what my higher time frames give me. But yet that's, it's still gonna, I, that's where my direction lies. So here on my 15 minute chart, what I'm looking at, okay? I have this blue line cross over the red and a downward momentum. This is my stochastic. This is my momentum indicator. So this is either going to be around my 20 or my 80, okay? That's what I'm looking for. Now, I know some of you all might have seen me do, you know, not be at the 80 or the 20, but you do that once you understand how the time frames correlate. I'm being very clear right now. You're 111, you're brand new to this. You're looking at that 20, you're looking at that 80. That's where you live as you, as you advance your skill set, okay? So right here, okay, I'm right here around that 80. So you see that this blue line crosses over the red in a downward momentum, right? So that's what this does, downward in a downward momentum. And so that's what you want. If it's around the 20, I'm looking at that blue line crossing over the red in an upward momentum. Now, uh, we're going to look at historical, okay? Anything that's not here is history, okay? This is, this is your history channel. This is your history we're looking at. Because if I'm analyzing the live chart right now, I wouldn't need an arrow. I wouldn't need any of that because this is, look, right here is nothing but space and opportunity. So my responsibility is to show you how you determine where the market's going. Now, we're really looking at a live market. This is real. This is yeah, when, when we were over here and I pulled this up. This is really the Dow Jones. This is what people complain about all the time. They're either happy or they're mad, right? This is the same market. It's not a different market. You know, we're looking at the same market. The advantage you have is the ability to do what banks do. You have the advantage and the ability to understand what's transpiring and profiting on the movement where we don't have to physically buy anything. This is what banks do. This is why it's called be your own bank. And you can see right where you can understand like this is that price so if i wanted to buy a british pound right now 
this is really how much US dollars it would cost me. And so we're looking at real transactions, real currency strength, right? Real, real, real. And so as I'm looking at this, you know, that so my stochastic is our leading indicator. This is a momentum indicator. So this is based on, I'm looking at my stochastic, it's got moving average in it. This is not a scalping strategy. That's part of what we're talking about today. This is a market strategy. It's price action with a twist because price action is true market activity. Price action trading is looking at the price and the momentum and making the decision where the market's going. This strategy, Be Well, Be Cash Out, increases that from about a 70% accuracy rate up to a 92% accuracy rate because it focuses on your areas of value. And so as I'm sitting here and when I'm looking at my stochastic, I got that blue line cross over the red and a downward momentum, right? There's a momentum indicator and it's a momentum indicator based on the time frame I'm on because it's based on the candles and the activity that's taking place on this particular time frame, right? That's what you're looking for. So that's, that's exactly what you're looking for. And then, right, as I'm here, these are what we call trend candles, okay? Hikanashi candles. I love them. And I love them because they do the heavy lifting for you. They, if you, when you study and you start and you're in academy and you start talking about um, the, the trading and, and you're studying the candles, right? We've trained on candles, but it's like reading the candles, right? You have to understand how to read the candles when you're doing pure price action trading. Well, what this does is it does the heavy lifting for you. So if you've ever been somewhere or somewhere with someone and you don't speak the same language they speak, guess what? That's your interpreter. So the, the Hikanashi candles is your interpreter. They are interpreting the candles for you. And, it, and I, I'm military. Like, I just want the bottom line up front. I don't need all the extra in between, you know. So just give me the bottom line. The bottom line is we're buying or we're selling. That's it. I don't need to know y'all fighting. I don't need to know the buyers might win half of the time, the sellers. I don't need to try to referee and look at three candles and do all. I don't need all of that. Give me the bottom line. Are we buying or are we selling? That's what the Hikanashi candles do. They give you that interpretation. And in here are my piece are, right? My parabolic stop and reversal. So this is a dynamic support and resistance line. It's moving with us. Support and resistance is your lifeline in the market, okay? Because it's like a stop sign. It's making you stop and recognize that there is something happening, something going on. And that's ultimately what this does, and it's a dynamic support and resistance. So when we start talking about stop loss, your stop loss is either above or below it because the market is telling you where it's at. And so this is how this works. And so if I'm here, blue line cross over the red in a downward momentum, I got a red candle with a flat top because that gives me my momentum, right? That gives me that direction. It's, it's letting me know that it's breaking through that support and resistance line. And then of course I had that PSR. So that's phase one. That's like the first step right there, all right? So now I wanna do my time frame confluence. And I'm gonna be very, you know, cause I see this a lot. I need to jump up to my higher time frame. If I'm on my 15, I'm going to my hour. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, you want to be in alignment, right? If you're not in alignment, remember it's a bumpy ride. So here, right, as I'm looking at this, I see where my blue line is crossing over the red in a downward momentum. So we're starting to get the momentum, but honestly, it kind of wasn't there yet, right? You see, it was kind of just flat line. So if I look here, what I'm ultimately looking for is this to be in some sort of sale. Now, GBP, I give you these rules all the time. GBP allows you to drop down. GBP allows me to drop down, but I'm gonna be honest with you. We're not doing that in this case because when I look, GBP has the most liquidity. So you can ultimately drop down. I would not be doing that on that first candle. I'm trying to show you, let me stop clicking. So right here I would, but on this one, I would not. My stochastic was flat line, my candle's still in a box. What that means is ultimately my lower time frame might only be in a correction, right? It's, it could be in a correction. A correction means, is overbought on that time frame or oversold on that time frame, and then it ultimately has to come back and get back in alignment. All right, that's what that means. 
And so when I come here and look, this is trigger for a buy. So my traders just watch that. All right, let me show you this one too. So perfect example, here we go. This just triggered for a buy on my five minute, right? It's always called in a correction, all right? You can see where this, right? This is overbought. So as I was mentioning a correction, it's always going to be called in a correction. When I come over here to my 30, where my confluence is, the five minute confluence is on the 30, my 15 minute confluence is on my hour. And so when I come here, you can see that that's definitely in a buy, all right? So what I meant about a correction is when I drop back down to my five because it triggered on a five, it's always triggers on a time frame it has a correction in. All right, it's gonna always trigger where I have a correction. And you can see that that's what that's going in. You see how it's not pushing up, my stochastic is starting to get flatlined. So you can see how it's pulling back in a correction. So after that correction, I probably more than likely will have a trade. Phase step three, you see I switched to the live trade, right? So y'all can make some money tonight. So phase three, is looking at my top-down analysis. I still need that Google Earth approach. So what you're seeing is my hour is definitely in a buy. This, this is important, guys. This is important. Let me help you because it's going to help you what I'm talking about tonight. So this is, you see, this is in a buy, right? Look at my stochastic. Look at my Hikanashi candle. So this tells me when I look at my four hour, my four hours not in alignment. Unless this starts to give me some shift and starts pushing up too, unless this starts moving up, which I believe it probably is, but um, we're not going off of belief. We're going to, what we see, we're educated master traders, right? Educated BYOB master traders. So unless this begins to move up, unless this begins to curve up, right? Unless that begins to happen, then what ultimately happens is I'm going for 10 pips and that's it. All right, 10 pips and cash out, and that's it. Do I have any questions, comments, or testimonies? Any questions, comments, or testimonies? Because where I want to go right now is here. We've been analyzing this. We had 100 triggers from different tools that's come throughout the week, and I want to come back over here. But before I do that, I needed you guys to understand this. Do I have any questions, comments, or testimonies? Any, 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 drop it in the chat. Give me a five, five, five if if you understand what I'm saying, you know. Give me a five. It's not a who. I know this is your first call, but that's the purpose of enroll, learn, profit, right? That's the purpose of enrolling in the academy, learning how to utilize the tools, because I'm glad you like it. Because the reality is, is when you look at it, right, and you see it from the first time, it does look like an EKG. But understand everything that we do in life, and I'm not saying it's just for the person who dropped that in a chat, I'm saying it's for everything, everybody. Everything we do in life, we always had to do it for the first time, right? Every single thing we do, we had to do it for the first time. And the first time you do anything, it's always a little intimidation or it's a little overwhelming or it's a little bit of unknown or it's a little bit of something. And so you have to, you get through it. And I can look at, how this is not really giving me much a correction. You see how I'm starting to push up. And so what you begin to see is you begin to see that it's really, you know, just think about driving for the first time. You know, driving for the first time, we went from, hey, I'm scared. Mommy, can I drive? Mommy, can I drive? Mommy, can I drive? But yet you couldn't even turn the corner or give or stop without giving somebody whiplash. And now we're driving and whipping through traffic and everything else like it's no big deal. I'm just talking while this is playing out, while this trade is playing out. I told y'all, y'all was gonna make some money tonight um, if it was up to me while we trade. So um, that's what we're looking at because you can kind of see how this is starting to pull up. Like look at the strength that's pulling with that, all right? So let's jump over here for a minute because everybody doesn't like just 10 pips, okay? I wanna be very, very clear. Everybody doesn't just like 10 pips. Some people want to ride it out, all right? And I'm going to give you guys some suggestions, and I'm going to give you some reasons why, the psychology behind the why. Now, you know, actually, let me, uh, no, I'm going to do it this way. So as we look at this, okay, let's, let's look at this trade. I'm going to put, I'm going to drop this down for a moment, and I'm going to show you this, because we've been analyzing this all week. So what happened is, I'm going to put a little box right here. 
because I, I honestly I like it for when you guys actually get to see the trades play out right you guys get to see them play out um and that's why I try to kind of follow some right so you guys can see them play out I like that I like you to see them play out so because I think it makes you a little bit more comfortable with the market you know and and it helps you understand how to use the tools okay so here earlier this week right we had a bounce back right let's go back over here for a second you have these different tools okay so understanding the tools the harmonic scanner focuses on harmonic patterns in the market all right it focuses on harmonic patterns in the market harmonic patterns are reversal patterns okay the one other one that we were using this week was the bounce back this week and last week was the bounce back the bounce back focuses on trends okay so the trend is your friend the market does three things it goes up it goes down it goes sideways okay it go up down and sideways so when it's about to break that trend if it's going up it's called an uptrend if it's going down it's called a downtrend when it's about to break that trend then you the, it like it is you get let's go back to the thing guess what when it's about to break that trend this is a trend line and so the market moves in waves right it's no such thing is a straight straight arrow straight line in life it's just absolutely nothing right it's not possible your life doesn't go in a straight line and these are real people making real transactions so it's not going to go in a straight line none of our lives go in a straight line and so what you're seeing is what we call an elliott wave right it makes higher highs which means the more every time the market goes up it creates a high then it comes down it, it's a low but it's a it's a higher low which means it's higher than the last low so as long as we continue to go up and get higher than the last point and and be still when i come down for that correction that we get in life i'm still higher than my last low right then i'm still in an uptrend and so this is what we call a trend line okay so i'm still in that uptrend so what the bounce back did is it triggered on a higher time frame right the one that's more dynamic, the one that gives me more direction, the one that has more authority in the market, right? So on my higher time frame, it triggered for a sale. And so on the bounce back, on the four hour. So we know we're not taking a sell at that point. We also had a 15 minute chart that triggered for a sale. Well, guess what? That, that one played out. But then we also were looking at this because we had the vibrata. Now the vibrata triggers, each tool looking at the same market is just looking at it for something different. The vibrata triggers at corrections in the market. That's where the vibrata triggers. So notice, remember, the market doesn't go up in straight lines. So the vibrata triggers in corrections. And in these corrections, okay, is where we get triggers. And so we were able to look at this and see that as this was moving up, we were getting triggers. And I was able to show you the triggers, right? I was able to show you triggers. And before this call, this same one actually began to trigger up in this area for a sale. So we're in the same pattern. You're watching the same market, watching the same, the same currency pair, you know, ride up the market and then have the opportunity to turn around and ride it back down. We're watching that. Oh, let me not forget these yellow lines, these support and resistance lines, these take profits or were identified from a harmonic pattern, right? A reversal pattern in the market. We marked this up this morning. This is a psychological level. When we marked this up this morning, I told you it was going to break it. I told you that it was going to push past this just a little bit before, right, it will pull down, right? If y'all recall, before it will pull down because we also had a the top of the channel up here. Oh, the market moves in channels. So the only thing I did to make a channel is take that trend line, clone it, and throw it on the top. That's how you make a channel. Rivers flowing, it's always gotta have two sides. If to imagine a river without, how do you have a river, a lake, a stream without something on the other side? You always have two sides to it. And so that's all this is. So we have a trend and then I threw the, I clone that line to make a channel. Any questions, comments or testimonies? Cause I know I'm trying to walk you through all these tools and how it plays out so you can take a longer trade. Any questions, comments or testimonies so far? None, none, y'all. Yeah. Okay, we absorb it. We absorb it.
trust me, we're not done with this, okay? We're not done with this because I'm about to get very deliberate in helping you guys um, and pulling from the harmonic scanner. I believe newer people, as you're beginning to learn market structure and even seasoned traders, I'm just saying, I still like it. You know, the harmonic scanner you know, when you use that and bring that back to the vibrata, I think it really helps you see the market with, with a lot of clarity, all right? And so that's really going to help. Now, what's happened is, like I say, this trigger for a sale. Now, if I'm right here on my hour, okay, let's get my um, all my stuff back up. You know, I want all my stochastics, Hikanasha candles, and PSARs. So, up here, you see that my blue line crossed over the red and that downward momentum is beginning that sale. So it triggered over here on my on my over here for a sale. Also on my four hour, I know I'm still not ready for a sale because it hasn't begun pulling down yet. I can see that it's stopping, but it hasn't begun pulling down. Now, one thing to know if a wave stops, if a wave stops moving, a wave stops rising, is when it stops making those higher highs. So you notice that this was blocked off. Because in order for us to know we were thinking we were about to take a sale, then it would have had to stop here. It, th those, that means the buyers are losing momentum. That's what that would mean, that my buyers are losing momentum. So right now at this sale from this point, the only thing I'm looking for is a higher high. I'm not trying to do a take profit way down here. All right. I'm not even trying to come right here. I'm focused on where my trend line is. So when this one starts moving down because it's still in that wave pattern, I need that to stop before I take my sale, right? Because even if I sell from here to here, I'm still in a, in a bullish, in an upward momentum, all right? So I'm telling you guys this because what I want you to know is what we're gonna be doing is really kind of coming in here. When you guys are on a call in the morning, I come here to the harmonic scanner, right? We come pull this, and that's where this, where we identified this trade initially and a bounce back. And when I come in here, I normally come here on the hour, and this is what I do a little bit before the call sometimes or while we're on the call together. And you'll see me kind of click through here and look. Now the ones down here at the bottom, okay, the ones that's down here at the bottom, they've already, you know, they've pretty much already played out. So they'll stay on here till they run out of space or run out of room or something, okay? Now, if you have some, you know, my newer ones are on the top and you got some different brokers that you can kind of click through to get ideas and, you know, some trades to come in here and analyze. Once again, we bring it back, bring it back, bring it back to the vibrata. We don't try to analyze it and trade it over here. If you see somebody doing that, you tell them I said they shortcut and they sell and they're not, I mean, that you just not. And, and you're just trying to circumvent the system and your trade account is going to reflect it. I'm just saying, you just, well, I'm a trader. Okay, well, how's that working out for you if you're trying to shortcut the system? If you try to shortcut life, guess what? It doesn't work out for you. That's just a rule of nature. I didn't make that up. I'm not in control of, of karma or the environment. I'm not in control of doing stuff the right way. You try to shortcut the system. That's just what happens. So, you know, here we have, you know, GBP USD, like one of the ones we're looking at. Then I tell you, it was in a correction when we did that. And I said I wouldn't do more than 10 pips if it's pulling up. Well, as you can see, it's a harmonic pattern as well. But it's already hit take profit one and it's retesting. So it's, it's showing you that like what we're talking about. And so the ones up here are actually playing out. So what you do is you grab this, you take it back and you analyze, okay? That's what you do. And that's what we're doing on the morning calls is we're taking these and we're coming back. And that's why no matter what tool I always go to, you still see me pulling from the harmonic scanner. I'm always going to have two or three trades from the harmonic scanner based on what's available, based on what's out there, because I just really believe it really helps you start seeing the market with clarity and you start seeing what's happening. And so you'll start watching this and it'll play out for you. And if it doesn't play out, then guess what? It falls off the scanner. And it's not, you know, it doesn't fall off the scanner to say, ha ha, you know, it didn't work out. It falls off the scanner to say, you know what? You know, we identified a harmonic pattern in the market, but it didn't play out. It didn't work out. 
And so because of, you know, or the harmonic pattern, you know, the fundamentals took over. And so you don't take the trade. And so that's why we don't blindly trade this. To be honest with you, the harmonic scanner is not a standalone tool. So it's, it's not a standalone tool. It has, it's, it's a tool that it, all it does is identify harmonic patterns and it uses the Fibonacci retracement to put take profits on here. And so, cause I know, cause I thought the same thing when I first got started, when I first began trading, I could look at this and I could just, oh, this gave me a trade. Let me drop this on here and walk away. Well, how about that doesn't work? So you have to analyze it and that's why we bring it back to the vibrata. We analyze it. We make sure we have everything in alignment. Be well, be cash out strategy, time frame confluence, top down analysis approach, right? So you can see the big picture of the market. And this is why you have individuals at like 95 and 100% accuracy rate. You know, can you imagine being able to take trades with 100% accuracy rate? Can you imagine, you know, saying this, how much money I want to make this week? And you setting your goals and you doing that and you make a decision and that's how you want to go. But I'm about to transition to that is so we could talk money. So do I have any questions, comments, or testimonies? Because some people do want to ride this down, right? We talk about 10 pips in cash out, but as I tell you, everything, look, that's about 170 pip potential, right? That you have right there. Not saying you're going to get them all at one time because I just walked you through this, but everything is personality-based. Scalping is personality-based. Intraday trading is personality-based. If I want to trade the indices, it's personality-based. If you want to be HFX, it's personality-based, right? We have a trading diva who loves, like, she's like in and out, in and out, in and out the market. And what I'm seeing is I'm starting to see other people drop HFX that I never would have thought would have dropped HFX. And they're like 777 on the HFX, which is high frequency Forex, which is simply I'm in and out the market real quick. And then you have people like me who just like to let their trade sit. I'm gonna set it up, I'm gonna put it in and I'm walking away. You know, I'm not on the charts all day. I get it all the time. Are you on the charts? What are you doing? Can you look at this? I'm not on the charts. I'm somewhere else. I'm doing something else, right? So just to really kind of put that in perspective, any questions, comments, or testimonies? Any questions, comments, or testimonies? Any, any, any? None? So this was just phenomenal. Y'all like, I'm good. I understand it. I'm ready to trade. So Ms. Dyer. Yes. Yeah, I did want to dive in real quick, and, and, and I want to just kind of, accentuate the point that you made and one of the mo uh, most amazing things about this strategy that you know god grace has died with to bring to us for you and i is that as she said the, the all of us have different trading styles have our different personality types but the unique and the most powerful thing about the strategy is it works on the every aspect of the market so whatever your preferred preference is you know, you you can understand that this is why we ensure that you become the signal. So uh, my trading style may not be your trading style and vice versa, but it does not prevent you from taking advantage of every aspect of the market. So, and I, I really want you to really grab hold of that because some of you like to be in and out of the market. And as she said, some of us want to stay around in, in the market two or three days or trade and whatever the case may be. But once you acquire this skill, then you're going to always be able to ride the wave of the market and whatever your ultimate desired outcome is. And now we put you in a position of totality where you control your own personal financial narrative. And that's really what our purpose and goal is. And this is why we know that true economic empowerment is giving you the opportunity to monetize every aspect of the market. I just wanted to add that, Ms. Dyer. Oh, no, you are so spot on. I mean, I, I can't even tell you how spot on you are with that. So I really appreciate you diving in and, and highlighting that. And so what I wanna do is I wanna really help you guys understand. So let me kind of shift gears a little bit and I'm gonna talk about this sheet because I can't tell you enough, right? That, you know, on Tuesdays when Ms. Anderson breaks this down, 
it really gives you a good, good understanding and clarity of the potential and the money and everything that's out there. We got an amen in the chat. I love it. I love it. I love it. So it really gives you the potential and the understanding, you know, but I want to do is I want to talk to all my personalities because right when you're looking at this and you see the examples, I want you to understand you know, where you sit, because I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be very, very, very transparent for a moment. Remember, I'm the person that couldn't count pips in the beginning. I'm the person that when I ran that ruler over there, and I'm going to tell you guys, don't use that ruler to count your pips. Absolutely not. You need to know how to count pips and add and subtract, because that's not going to help you when you are putting your trades in your MetaTrader 4, like in your account, you need to know your numbers, okay? You need to know how to add and subtract and put your pips on there. But I'm that person that couldn't. So even when I began and I got introduced to compounding and I began looking at this and playing with this chart, you know, and, and I began, you know, our goal initially was get 10 pips, 20 pips, like how many pips a day do you get? And we transitioned from that to, a compounding because it just makes sense. We compound out all the time, right? We compound out, 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 out. You know, the car notes, the, the mortgages, all of the things, that, the, the credit cards, right? All of the things that you buy right now with the price of gas, if you use a credit card to get gas, if it costs you $50 to fill your tank up, then guess what? You paying $75 or $100 by the time you pay it off, depending on how you pay those bills. So we compound out all the time and don't even think twice about it. And in the Christmas season coming up, I already know some of y'all about to max some credit cards out. You know, let's, uh, that's a whole nother topic because I'll be on here till 11 o'clock telling you don't forget about the reason for the season. But the reality is, is when we do that, what we forget is how to compound in. And so I want you guys to understand tonight that, you know, being wealthy is, is not a myth and it's not just for some people, it's for everyone. And so I want to remove that stigma that says we can't because it's just miseducation. You see, our parents told us to get educated. Our parents told us that we needed education, but yet it's what are you being educated upon? And then people will say knowledge is power, but are you applying it? And, and we want to make sure you have the right information, but you also want to apply it. So we already understand compounding. We already do it every day, but we're not applying it and walking in it. And that's where that shift has to change. That's where that has to happen because you have to walk in it. And so when you understand that it's yours, right, then it's yours. And so like, let's just say, you know, I'm going I'm to go back to what we've been seeing. Okay. I'm going to start with what we've been seeing. So if, uh-oh, did I just do that? Let's undo because we're not going to mess that up. No, no, ma'am. So if I did, right, 5%, right, if I wanted to grow at a 5%, right, this is my growth percentage rate, all right? Now, everybody's different. And when I say transparent, when I was telling you how I couldn't count pips, how I'm that person that was looking at the charts, I had a very, very conservative lot size, right? I'm the person that's not going gambling. I'm the person that you not take, if I go to the casino, I'm watching you play or i might get on a slot machine doing some pennies or something or even if i did something it's with someone else and i'm still not putting hardly nothing on there but i don't i don't hard, i don't even go enough to say i went i might have been maybe two or three times in my life so for me personally it was absolutely no way i was coming on here and doing a five or ten percent growth percentage look at y'all <laughs> so i want you to understand that it's personality based and so when you're looking at this column, okay, you're looking at 10 pips, all right? And I want you to understand it doesn't matter where you are because I'm doing okay. I, if you ask me, I think I'm doing all right, you know, but I've never had like a 10%, an 8% growth percentage. Some of you guys do. I see the shots. I see the money being made. I see what you get on one trade, right? But it's all based on personality. And so as I'm looking right here, right? If I do my 10 pips, this is the column you live in. This is where your lot size is. If I'm not, now we're ignoring the stop loss. Why are we ignoring the stop loss? Because my PSAR tells me what my stop loss is. And nine times out of 10 is less than this. 
Nine times out of 10 is less than this, okay? Now, my, if I'm doing up to like over 10 pips, you probably gonna live around here. Now I'm gonna tell you, this is pretty much where I live, okay? Everybody lives somewhere different, but this column, because if you move your, if once you get 10, 20 pips or what have you, and you move your stop loss up in profit, right? Then if you get stopped out, you get stopped out in profit. So that's why I don't really dabble over here because this is my goal. You know, it's, it's always somewhere in here, whether it's 20 pips, 30 pips, whatever the case may be, the goal is in here. And if it goes longer than that, like if I go back to that AUD USD trade, we were just analyzing, if I go longer than that, I've moved my stop loss up in profit. So everything else over that is that bonus check. Make sense? Make sense? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. So, and then so understand that, you know, okay, I got some yeses. I'm like, y'all concerned me. Are y'all listening? Y'all with me? You follow me? We're talking about the money right now. So is understand that, you know, this is also something to consider because you have to put a stop loss in. And so this is going to help you understand your, your growth percentage rate. Because if it does go right, well, now we're focused on accuracy, we're focused on all of that. But the higher my lot size is, the more pullback you got to be able to stomach. So you, I'm, I'm just trying to help you see and help you determine where you want to live. Because six figures in six months is real, okay? It's very, very real. So if I look at this, okay? Let's just keep this balance at a thousand. I started my account with a thousand dollars and then I come over here and that 5% is in here. Okay. So it's a thousand dollars. I start my account with, I got to take that out of there. And then that 5% right here. Okay. That I want to grow it. Right. This is where my growth percentage is. That means that for 10 pips, my lot size is a 0 0.50, which means that I profited $50 on that trade. But if I'm doing more than that, then my profit, I'ma still make $50, but my lot size has gone down to a 0.07. So when you hear me in the morning saying, doesn't matter, you know, if you get 10 pips, it doesn't matter. If you get 50 pips, you should make the same money. How you take the trade is your personality. Some of you all want to just get in and get out and be done with it. Some of you all wanna let it sit. This is where your lot size lives, right? Right up in here. And so you want to make sure you're adjusting and you're trading with the proper lot size. This is your profit. So if that's the case, right? If that's the case, at the end of this, this is at the end of 125 successful trades, this is where you live, right? This is where you live. So this is what you made, okay? And you're not doing that a year at work if on the average person. So, right, so that's that's beautiful. That's just beautiful. Now, I'm gonna make this adjustment, okay? Because let's just say you start your trade account with $500, all right? We, we start that trade account with $500. If I start my trade account at $500 at 5%, okay? You see the difference in the lot size. You gotta be okay with this. You have to be okay with this. And as we drill down and we come down here, you see I've, half, I'm, I've gone in half for what I'm profit, like I'm now at 222,000. So, but guess what? That's okay. And you see my lot size is significantly different, but it's gonna be once again, based on personality. So if we're taking that AUD USD trade, we know we're not in this, in this column. We're not in the 10 pip and cash out column. You're over here because you always wanna practice proper risk management. You always want it properly balanced out. So if I look at this, okay, oh, I gotta take it out. Now let's say, Let's just be real, because I probably started. I'm going to just tell y'all where I started, right here. That was me. That was me. That, that, was, that, that was a trade whisper when I started trading. Y'all see, everybody got to start somewhere, okay? Everybody has to start somewhere. Why is that doing that? So everybody has to start somewhere. And you got to be okay where you start, okay? You have to be okay. So, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You really have to be okay where you start because as a financial advisor, what I would do is sit down with you before we even talked about your investments, right? Before we even got that, I would sit down with you and I would do your personal risk assessment and we would talk about your comfort level, okay? Because you need to be comfortable. 
we're, we want to make money and have fun. And if you're tense, you're not going to relax and properly analyze the charts. So you want to make sure you're using this sheet to your full advantage. So this was me. I ain't even, I'm not even going to lie to you. This was me. And so look, look what my loss size was. Okay. And so, but that was fine because guess what? $500, look what it turns into. All right. It's still, you turn $500 into about almost $6,000. Are you okay with that? Can we be okay with that? Is that okay? Because you, a bank is not giving you that type of interest. A bank is not giving you that type of return. And so this is why I tell you guys, focus on the skill set and not the money. You focus on the skill set is going to pay you for life. So to turn around and take, you know, and, and I got excited. Because for me to be able to take a few hundred dollars and turn it into a few thousand dollars, that was absolutely exciting. Because, you know, no matter what I did, working in finance, working as a financial advisor, working everywhere, it, you got to be okay and understand that the money is there. Because you're not getting this sort of return. It's just not happening. But of course, you know, we didn't stay there. You know, we increase some things. Your balance goes up, okay? So all of those things begin to happen. And so, you know, you might just want to go from 2% to 3%. You know, you you know, you know, you increase it a little bit. You balling now, right? So you're a risk taker. You know, I'm just playing with you guys. But this is, you know, it, it, it kind of changed. And I'm just trying to show you that at the end of those trades, right? Now you at 20,000. Look at the big difference that made. I went from, you know, yeah, exactly. I was like, I'm a high roller. I'm doing these, right? So I went, you, you go from, you know, you go from 6,000 to now 20,000, right? So look at where you are and look at what it does. And so this is the position that this puts you in. But I want you guys to, when I say download the sheet, get in there, play with it. And then, you know, I'm not even gonna lie. There's somebody I speak to on a regular basis and I think they live here, right? I think they live here. You know, I think they live at 10%, personality-based. And so when you look at, because I look at the trades and I'm like, oh, you're doing, look, but look at what it can do for you. But, but, you know, I just want you guys to get okay with understanding that you're focused on a skill set and you're over here practicing it. And I'm gonna also tell you guys, if you've gone live, there is absolutely no reason why your trade account is not attached to my FX book. If you want to be a professional trader, see, we're not in this for a hobby, right? You'll hear people say, oh, trading this and trading it. No, 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 no. You are an educated, be wild, be master trader anointed for wealth. You know, you do you track your hours at work? Do you know what you did at work? Do you know those things? If you know those things, when you go to work, you should know how your trades are playing out. We don't just take trades. This is not you. If I know this, I have an expectation when I take a trade, there is an expect, I expect to get paid. I expect my trade to end in profit. So if I expect my trade to end in profit, then guess what? I know how my trades are going. So when you go to work and you punch that clock, you expect to get paid for that hour that you did. You expect that. And if you took two hours off or 20 minutes or whatever the case, because you had an appointment, however it works in the civilian world, you know, you guys expect to, for them not to dock your whole hour for 20 minutes. So we need to understand how our trades are playing out. Am I... You know, do I need to work on my entry point? Do I need to work on my clothes? You know, did how much pullback did I have? That's what that does for you. It helps you understand and it helps you set goals. Why do you think you can get up and say, you know what? This is my goal for the day. This is what I need to make. And when I tell you one of the most disciplined people I know is my son, that's exactly what he does. And it's like, this is what I did. This is my balance for the month. This is how much money I got. This is how much money I want to withdraw. On every Friday, I'm making a withdrawal for this amount. And so this is what I know I have to do in order to do that. And so you want to be there mentally. And I just want you guys to download this sheet, play with this sheet, okay? Play with this sheet, get comfortable as to where you are because the money is there, the money is coming. 
And then when you come back to this chart and you come back here, this is going to make a lot of sense to you as you say, you know what? I'm gonna just ride this out. So just like what I just said, and I'm about to transition. So right up in here, once this comes down about right here, all you're doing is moving your stop loss up, down, moving your stop loss. And guess what? The rest is just the bonus check. You know, can you live with a bonus check? So even if this thing came here and turned around and stopped me out right here, I'm okay because I'm in profit and I made what I was supposed to make. All right. I'm okay because I'm in profit and I made what I was supposed to make. Before we transition this call, any questions, comments, or testimonies? Any questions, comments, or testimonies? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm glad you said thanks for this session. Makes so much sense now. I'm glad. Is this the same for Forex cryptos indices? No, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna say this. Let me emphasize this. Your foreign exchange pairs is what that's based off of. Your cryptos and indices should be separated and that's bonus money, right? Like that is bonus money because at a 0.01 on an indice that moves a dollar, right? That that moves a dollar a point. So on a US 30, that's a dollar a point. And so there's absolutely no way you're compounding it like that. And when you get in Bitcoin, I think we just both broke that down last week when you're looking at Bitcoin and understanding how that moves, but you're not doing that either. It's too much liquidity in those. And even the foreign exchange pairs that you're not putting in here or your, um, what do you call those things? Oh my gosh, I can't even, Dr. B, help me out. The, um, why do I gotta, like, it's just, block, I gotta block real quick. But the, um, you know, like the the peso and, and the czar and, whatever those are called. Right Exotics. Now. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I was like, how did I get a block? But that's exactly, thank you, Dr. B. But that, those you're not putting on there because it's too much liquidity in them. And so that's to kind of get you, you know, where you just managing it, proper risk assessment, proper risk management, right? From your foreign exchange pairs. All right, guys. So you like the idea of putting your trade in profit and letting it ride out? Absolutely. My knowledge is so much better now. I love it. I love it. All right, guys. So I'm glad that you guys got some clarity, some understanding, right? I'm so happy that you have that. But it's time to transition this call. I'm already in 